cups of it were here. Like the North East Newcastle Storm, for the Bobby song just sung, the hymn or the dirt, I have been middle tongue. For words are being spoken that were used in bygone days for the metaphor expression, and I could have done the face. But the party sense of humor complements the very wit. And yet it is a matter that I have seen. For it's my country, kind of country, for the market be the same. It has places the comparison to the If I can live my life next in, I'll I will live in this and consider every minute of so come on, you Doric speaker. The beauty for the young and still a healthy interest in what came from the young. Then I tell you the old expression, with a try and what to do. Fit better education when I quite. It's near some poor and water that we are to try and hide. It's fair to Scotland's heritage, so use it right for time. With each and every enos.
well, it was virtually his first song, really, and he sent me the words and just with a wee note saying, do what you like with it now, German. And uh, we, the band recorded it, and uh, it's safe to say that it was quite a popular song, especially in Keith, you know, at the, at the festival time. And uh, so we have great memories, uh, Ian, and, uh, <coughs> and thanks very much for leaving. I've had a dash, and I uh, hope you are, and sure you'll have a, a great Kelly. I wish it was still biting, really, but uh, duty calls. Thank you very much.
he was something of a musician. He had an ear for the sounds of the countryside. And an, an uncut chef, Jan Rump, of them all as it all happened in the world. Yes, and though the fame that all has given way to the combine, he invites the squires that think that he has yet a ghost of a bygone years. He imagines that laying a horse shoes as a pair of horse can from the cross at yoga time at the old drum deputy. And that winning poem that he recited in the bear speaking competition at the Book and Heritage Festival in Keith. He called it Dum Drum Delhi No More. And he tells of that great firm of twelve hundred acres on the other side. Now all the foresters, the firm hooks up a tail and the stead in the Must expect to find a territorial wave of 
very same terms. And the flaps and the, the, the marks and all they be drawn. Well, he and his dollars in the heritage movement of Buchan and Gordon. The Buchan heritage movement is six up here in Keith, the back of Murphy, and so on. And you know, friends, it is wonderful that although too ill to attend the festival at Strickland this last May, the Society's Hair Skip magazine featured his light-hearted poem, A Baldy Best, as the winning entry in the writer's competition.
baby knew I'm like a pig, and after this yacht, I'm getting that one. <laughs> I thought I think the Gilgin, but I did not feel I did it. Deep do not stall a lunatic tap, and a self same joke can beat it. I like it being fussed to her, though I maybe need a toy. Cause I tension to sick details, and I kept me a big boy. For instance, who we beat it, and that fire was feeling shivery. I just didn't mention butter, for a double quack delivery. <laughs> it's a different story nowadays, for that talk a shivery spell. You yacht got coffee in my butt and got my fault myself. <laughs> it impacted us from the sweeties and was starting you and buck rap. For every enid he got, he made sure that I got twa. <laughs> but knew I would be fun for, for he just knew an eye. And it's I the easy eat and I like like a coffee on margin pie. <laughs> I'm nice, and he took it up a soon. Can I skip it to tell lies? I was what I'd be a pill say, but I charted up some quiet. But yes, it's in that day here, but I charted up made one. You never jerk your ginger, so come on now, fit wise eye. <laughs> John is calmly fierce off our cake, a force raised our heat, and said to joke, we are hurting lot. Oh, that, that was no need. I'll lay deny there's a green and truth, and Fadeev just recalled, but I might forget for good and joke, you're so a demon, and bald. <laughs> Thank you. 
Canadian corn. It's your Howell big joke for the hero of the canal. We just boil it, lift that bitch all up in your pan. <laughs> Souvenir, 
like a police gun and his foot with a child. I, after all you, reflects in the flu, and the car I get sleep it for climb. <laughs> Was 
subside because I'm going to ask you once again, because this bridges to me, other folk can say, oh, I will exceed again. We've had from the age of nine to seventeen, and using the words that Ian and I and every one of us can, and use them thinking and as well. Once again, please, for the X Five about the lady who took her cat to the bed because it was a shit It just says, 
Phenomenal read a choir foul on a goats. They were washing the Christ they had stuck on the stots. <laughs> For all gone a shrubbies a source of delight, the barbin turned down to fill a sish. and she had a, a an operation in a number. So Ian had been trying to get a hard horse for about a whole week, and then of course eventually he got a hard of me and asked, and I said to him, oh well, I says, I've been running into the hospital, I says, I'm in the hospital, and she's got a, a operation fast. So there was a car get into the hospital, and the car said, we've already just got work, why that you've landed in would I? I hope you get her on wine and, 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 and so forth. But he says, But don't I say your brush side on? Because can you be a Greek? <laughs> Tom wouldn't have scot up with a cure to get on your body. <laughs> He grew, would I be better bedded if the horrors raised the stew? Pass me from there. Smell you being told. Pardon? Say what smell. What hell no? I'll tell you if it's can run. It's how the young boy is doing here. It was the treble and now there's a den in singing. <laughs> the Reverend, Reverend Bernay, he spoke about the, the, the mill already, and the, the treble and mill has been the biggest death of my life. And I don't care if I went to work at it again or no. It was hard work. The wick up or the mall was due, the money get his ruin. They organize a squatty bed and they bring film tunes. It's sand time or hair time, no there's a affair but hush. But the crooning culmination come, the day we had a thrush. The mall come home, the next afford was more than up and left. We plugged in the gloom and gave now the little daft and set. But the mall had spoken here and there, got a thing sorted out, for a start the boy and morning, then the men come and a boot. Then each we had our yogurt, it was a satisfying soon. On a quiet day the humming out, quit the air for miles a room, especially if in an entrance ship, the doon and ache and out. And she left the duda, oh, is that good rumbling over her throat? The men been gathered and a boot made fourteen or a crew. They were putting on the hollow grain, they were gone big as sue. A mala did the feeding, whilst the other did a ruin, skating aisle and all the furling bits, they keep her wheel doom. The workers work with tyrant, be it shaves or be it stray. But nothing half as bad as humping barley bags a day. Half quarter bags were all designed for little 
Hans ben Graaf en de heel weefje Jackie Liggit heb je om te de laag. De laag is teer een goede fles, het eien is te laag. De waarak werd heen ik gosjeerd, we onen zing on je bak. De waar naar een pijl zijn jukit, ben die vaart het gist vla. Wees de one in power gradient, dat wees komen te de ma. Ben we loos den god wat in haar baai, de meen verder toens. Voor critical comparison zit af upon the runes. We eger hier, we eger leer, get this in that a book. For there's a great fascination with the gear o' other folk. We are thing will to throw on the adjunct to the barn, to dock the wake the off their legs, and spend the latest yarn. But they hidden along the later, but them all resume the teen, and they sprawl act up and rocks themselves. To start the afternoon, to all women at the lows and kept the bitter wheel supplied, and a steady stream of grain was being bucket up and wide. But the money in attendance, we a speculator be. He was garnering a good quality as wheels the quantity. When the rocks were by the ease and vermin started spewing out, but they jigged out a sect again, we ferns and hit pursuit. Little kinnin that their heidi holly wouldn't last for long, for there's nae a lot of shelter when you start to hen mist young. Once you finished and got rode it, and the men had worn a while, an eerie kind of silence seemed to settle over all. For the cornyard was naked, and the phones are stripped clean. Just a stress who in a heap of cough, to show she'd ever been. The trembling mullies long defunct its fair loud aggress, and you'll seldom see a gathering new of folk a put a place. For the modern malls a combine, we are steering wheel and gears. But there's files, I think, I hear her yet, a ghost of my own years.
the poetry, the young age there with J.C. Mao. And then I think the one of them there with there's J.C. Mao, the Tali in Middleton, that what you see of the young age can relate to the modern poetry, the D.M. did, we think it's great. We're going to finish off with Saturnales, so clap your hands and do it. Express, 
Ten Buddha means God smash that the heaven with our space. There's thin skin sniper scenes to get you through the spring. And muggle savvy English in check, gay on the elite terrain. Lock lads, root lads, and kidney shaped as wheel. And our lads come in green, we stick in it the drill. Canaries and herrings, and some it's black, we blink. And every in the better left, walk three load of dung. <laughs> Here's pink for the screen, as well as Juga York, another bronze fit for mugging piggies and the pork. And now there's great British Eans, the market for the talk, and then there's that champion for soup to keep you swark. So here's to the tonny and long with the swall, herring with the new Eans and size with the all, the working man's caviar stealing for the pot. There's no bench that's going, but the daddy beats the Lord. Well, that was, I think, one of my favorite songs to hear. I think one of the least favorite new Melbourne songs. I was just remembering, you know, the first time I ever met him, it was actually just through the back there. And uh, I kind of must have been the guy for me. And I wasn't really in the conversation very much in those days. <laughs> but he kind of, I, I chatted away him for, you know, 20 minutes, half an hour. Just a bit often, he kind of been singing, just what we say. We sort of became good friends from over the years, so it was just so sad to see him. But uh, I mean, the last time I, I saw him was, was in the, the Legion on a, a sort of Sunday morning afternoon, Kayleigh. And uh, we were just kind of, it was just a way of saying, we were just thinking, you know, what, what we should do. And uh, this this was the one that we came up with. Uh, some of you have heard it, some of you have been sick by the blood. Uh, it's called Alexander's Trash and Mill. And it's got a crappy chorus, so if you can enjoy it, if you can. <laughs> So we piled into the motor, found finished with a kai, and we made for Alexander's by the city of Rai. Well, Alexander met us there, down by the kitchen door. We are a couple of his wings, although they say he had a school. When he'd heard your situation, he very soon agreed to bring along his thrashing mill with the greatest speed. It belongs to Alexander. It's a bloody great machine. It's painted green and yellow, and it's on a thin but clean. You've got to work like blazes, for the turnbells never stall. It's a pound a day, a day, a day, when you work the thrashing mill. Now the mill came in at seven, and we started off at eight. But the day was cut a stir of it, as I will soon go late. For we had no good drift yogurt, for a dirty twelve inch rod. Come chicken out the high wrecks, and it killed the big fat gun. <laughs> Will Alexander rub his hands, and to my father said, It's of these little incidents a thrashing day is made. But the rock crawled up his trouser leg, he maneuvered with great speed. He catched it at the knee cup, and he crushed his bloody head. It belongs to Alexander, it's a bloody great machine. It's painted green and yellow, and it's on a thin but clean. You've got to work like blazes, for the turnbelts never stall. It's a pound a day, a day, a day, when you work a thrashing mill. Now the shin had got wrecked yogurt, and the sheaves were fleeing fast. But all nearly he just stood there, as they get fleeing past. We were cutting sheep and bunning, man were working fine until. He took down nearly 
Lake, Lake, and he won it in the mill. But the mill, she never stopped it. Again, you know, and it's girls, and my thought for her, the crunching noise, as it crushed up his bones. It was the end of Alexander, it was a sad and mournful tale. For his left leg it came doing the shoot, and his heat was in the pail. It belongs to Alexander, it's a bloody green machine. It's painted a red and yellow, and it's all in the clean. You've got to work like blazes, for the turnbells never still. It's a pound a day, you've never paid, when you work the brushing mill. Now he didn't get past John Burley Gates, St. Peter was Guy Rush, but maybe they'll be winning him when it comes time to thrash. And in time, O oh, heavenly harvest, beyond your distant hill, they'll maybe win the contract for Alexander's mill. It belongs to Alexander. It's a bloody Machine. It's painted a green and yellow, and it's all even but clean. You've got to work like blazes, for the turnbells never still. It's a pound a day, you never pay, when you work the thrashing bell. Drunk in the old days, 
daily she realised there was cost to be made, so he ran a wee business fate with all his shed, for he charged sixty p for a snob at close range, and in May by McDaw he'd a heap of smart change. The local gazette gave a maker some space, and in time he got into the national press. But although he had risen to rank with the stars, his pale reputation was based on his drugs. <laughs> the soap manufacturers fight for his trade, and money's the look of the offer was made to free washing food out the weekends in France, getting grant them exclusive control of his pants. <laughs> then he bought them when Sergeant and she got a boot, and a colonel was sent to despair when he did. Davy Sheen let him get in, they'd been worn into a wars, so a long service medal was prayed for the The news of the show and it traded to suit, some members of Parliament deemed it uncouth, where others gone for a crime of scene, and paid when a motion that auction be deemed. The story, it seemed, had the eye no appeal, and eventually when news felt it through to the squeal, they made the decision to drop the three R's and hear lessons instead about all Davy's draws. <laughs> but they left as he's washing hung out in the town, a storm force wind fussled fair then the hull, it souped up his clays, the offender it spare, and a hailing a washing took off in the air. Davy tried sail to save, but he had no chance, as his drawers flew of wind, in a fair you will dance. <laughs> so if ever you hear when troll sector mars, I would never mind bending it's all the <laughs> Yeah, 
extreme left right thing. <laughs> Can we continue now with uh, our celebration? I like to call it that. It's a celebration. It's the way that Ian would uh, enjoy his life here. And one man has done so much for our music and song in this area, and we're delighted to see him in a prime position in National Trust of Scotland, representing us, our Scotland, not only that, so many diverse things he does that you did not care about, but we can about us on stage. Please welcome Robert Lovey! So many great folk to salute and pay tribute to Ian. Um, it's just tremendous. Um, Ian's material has been a huge part of my repertoire for many, many years now. And it's only uh, funny that comes onto the stage, I'll tell you. One of the most difficult things with any audience is to get a laugh. And it's, you always feel quite special if you get your audience with you and get them going and get a laugh. And you can forever have been with Ian's poetry or his songs. It has never failed to raise a laugh. In fact, the laughing against the hysterics sometimes and against the tears. In fact, I, I remember being one night uh, in Buchan at Cairn or WRI and some of the ladies had laughed so much they had to go into the room because they were sayer laughing. And that is a great tribute to, to Ian and his stuff. So in my tribute tonight, I'm going to do three of my favourite poems from Ian. Um, and the first one is what I'll look for in a seven and eight. And we didn't often get into the lottery, and it's got a shortcut to Scylla. Okay, a shortcut to Scylla. You know, Jean for her breather, of indeed, fell heir to the firm, a hell of heat. His wheel is fifty thousand in Scylla, just to see that work would never kill her. New Dodd, the foreman, deemed the chance to shove the seedlings of romance. In Jean, love stared and drawn the pension, was flattered to her with Dodd's attention. She was flat and die, but nay, just feel. For she came to the place that had a feel, and she should hide a chance, whoever faint, the door might take a liking dilla, for boys the place, and our cellar. So I to maximize her hope, she hide your dirty bloody scope. But Lord, you would have record say her, or you'd come and sick an hell marched fair. For door deserved, you would agree, he was younger like number 53, a swat, weed looking graft in Billy. He turned to need a money a filly. Small wonder man the Jean get gate as love get over her like a blight. <laughs> For she was something else again, a trachly, dousled, buttery hen. <laughs> her skin was yarded, her clay's ill fitting. Man, she was like something covered up a flitting. <laughs> and in her nose and runa booted, first up like a cottage sprouted. <laughs> When the looks had been this dude, be a genie, she'd been out of boot. Well, although she'd set our day in bullet, and our respect to human gullet, there's nothing fires a queen romance, is wheel the lure of high finance. And Dodd thought, damned, although she's broke, there's plenty room about the truck. The great of ready for the knocker, I would be great with near the darker. Well, the offshore ways, though say of the merit, the pair of them eventually merit. Would she give Dodie every chance to base the marriage on romance? But Dodie himself, sick notions. Man, he wouldn't even go through the motions. <laughs> oh God, the only reason he stuck it was the thought that Jean might crack a bucket. <laughs> but plans for her wheel were laid, getting after glide, as Robbie said, and in farfing, heading for the knocker. But melted fat, she ain't you swacker. <laughs> Still showed signs of feeling as the strain of white and started feeling. <laughs> well, as the years slipped by, he pined a walk, and came time was never out of top. And he called himself as he glowered at Jean and talked to her that might have been. Well, in the inner line, he did a chill and get a throttle down the hill. For days he lay with a crowdy heart, so he came the road with body talking. Aye, his burial in the all cap here was a grand affair. And the expense was spared, a fancy steen of in his deed, with a line of war for our delight. In memory of Dodd, age 69, for merit me, for fit was mine, but he's finally got, but he's soft again, just have a dagger on, tick noise here. <laughs> This is 
should fix it. He had never failed to take it in there, neither of them ever failed to take a lap. But this one, especially, uh, and um, it's simply God the Father. Now, we, Jordy, a countryman born and bred, was mayor and continued to the life that he led. We snares and his ferrets, he was kind far and wide as the best Robert Trapper in Denver inside. Now the locals for years have been trying to match him, and fat iron for years have been trying to catch him. But Gordon de Jordy was there in his plans, well with his ferrets, he felt it in your in his hands. Now he said that the neck could hear with the hull, he was clean with the steer and annual ball, and though the doom was a function for collar and tie, he decided to hear about squinty and eye. So he had tower on his leg to block off on his legs. He'd just drop out the ferret, he'd first do his bricks, and it rained in the boot till it settled with ease, and a sporty half boy put his waist to his knees. <laughs> well, we are bar in a holly, the dark in a sock, and his leer was hobbling, and your auntie was on. A bar fit, flat on it, the only wall flew up, like a twelve steam bling lump looking out for a cure. She'd been ghosting on courage to avoid ten light, and she spoke that wee Jordy and wasted no time. And a poor he could dodge of choking in it, he was in for lobster and uh, the bacon for bread. <laughs> well, the sail through the flare, till a waltz country dance, wee Jordy held daft in the throes of a man. But the thought to his ferret was out of the floor, and he cried, No pressure like you, man, it made a good smoke. <laughs> Get them a chuckle to see if it would shift. It was thunk with it sideways, it started to drift. It was then the fuck on it, it loose to a spring as it crawled, doing his leg like an half an inch flight. Well, top on her heat furled to see if it was wrong. Jordy reached face to the cane for the yard, and he did see on it, it loose to a crack, and the next thing he did, he was flat in his butt. Now, amid the confusion in general row, a hand sneaky tower and loused the bit down, and the women reacted like rats on a spoot, with still and stump feet when the water had come out. Well, with its feet when the grip of the slippery flare, it changed to a stick and then the top gear. Ignoring completely the still serenade as it shot to a septum and box laminate. Now, the women were out the windows outside, and the vote was unanimous. It's there that went behind. And the band, they enjoyed a brack for the ball. Playing pop goes a weasel. Playing <laughs> double to our ball. You know, we jolly recovered, and we all did pursuit. In the daytime, my car, he traced it in doubt. And for the days, when he cast, he made off up a road, just for fear it fought on him, and up and reload. <laughs> To this day he gets rugged and files us around, but he never discovered what did it do. But Bonnie, still keen in him, often time quips, push it feel more secure in his bicycle claps. <laughs> Well, he gave a charm and said, 
rest, in his slobbersy three dishes. Oh. And you have made for four folk, the like of it with a bloody toke. Whilst when some young god alone would work on his pubis with his own, Joke would say, the wrong is small, but never mind, I'll just do it to walk. It's been dealt in use as we'd a feast, he didn't bother in the least, for Joke I answered with a crack. It's a bailing that hurts off the back. <laughs> you, it was no surprise for sick and eight. The constipation was his fate, and he funered files for days and I assaults with vitamin and pain. So the men all settled on a plan to give all stubby's bulls a horn, and they would give the glock and sick a dose if he met her legs and in his nose. <laughs> so in the gate to the druggist lad, and bought a muggle chocolate card, to our squaws it said would work a cure, but they would give him act just to be double sugar. <laughs> Let's say that the morning, they didn't need to hang along with Stubby's greed. Pray the arch, he ain't in the ring joke, and he'd swallow the Lord by nine o'clock. <laughs> well, they get a snack, well through the yoga. Stubby's take it for a yoga. Say, turn up, come, real orchard like, to disappear in a dike. Well, when the men all housed at twelve o'clock, the only sign they'd seen a joke was the hint that things was far correct. When Chuck his wife came round the gable to tell him of the fast with kind, when Chuck near met his in a ring. It was two o'clock and then he stumbles and his stomach came so hard. Well, I laid his dinner on the table, but nah, the devil was not able. And that night was the minute's credit when he raised and fed the host for it. There was no improvement all day Sunday, and all that night we will throw Monday. Great. He's putting an off a shock. He wanna eat, not even a snack. Well, he's feared the host. He's feared the snake. He's tricks and trail and all his feet. Well, it's something he's eating, Jock supposes. Well, look with all of my diagnosis. And the maid then couldn't help it. Da -da. And she says, I think he has a flu.
of this lovely celebration we have here. And I, I wouldn't claim now that the next material will be Ian Middleton's material. I'll be surprised if it is, because the individual material of the next artist was equal to Ian's. Something needs in a festival, Ian and our next guest. You need somebody who's the same off stage as on stage. Can entertain you at the campsite, can entertain you during the day, can entertain you at the concert. He did not want to be missed out, and we are delighted to take as part of this celebration, Stevie Engel! Steve, what did you look like as you 
you won't be just much and leave Martha and be Nichols on. She will get married. The minister says, Do you take this woman to be a woman with a wife? I said, I do. He says, Look, I'll ask you again. <laughs> Fuck it. 
Bobby Bar Bar said, it's from the Bar, the followers on stage. So, it's saying that they come on here. Boys, come in here. You won't be on show. The, the, the two charities that benefit from our tonight's proceeds, they go to the community nurses, that's uh, in Pucky, and Alpha Excel Press and Leaf Mattress, and the Money Youth Action. And I must say that I would uh, explain to me earlier on by Jean about this um, mattress, and I had to smile, and Jean did smile as well, because if you realize that kind of constrictors that Ian was on there and how he just kept that smile going on it. But I remember when he got a new cushion on his <laughs> And you look at what I cope with in his sleep by the way, but he, he got a new cushion in his chair and he it was one of these ones it looked like you can't you get done things by putting eggs on, sitting at eggs. <laughs> And he, looked, he said to me, he says, look, Robbie, he says, here in my chair, I would have said, and he God knows, fun, I get the heart. And I remember that with, with pride and pain. I understand it's a very special chair uh, that, that, that Jean has got, the family has gone for, so that the community nurses, the, the Alpha Excel Pressure Relief Mattress, thank you, Jean, and uh, it's not many available at all. You can think, you think thousands, nay hundreds of pounds, but just for the sake of our love of Ian and what he's done, I'm sure that you will contribute to that. Thank you. I'd also like to thank the Hall Keeper for um, the whole key bells for being so helpful to those who kindly donated the raffles, but I forget all the raffle earlier on, the raffle sellers and anyone else who helped in any way. If you look up the Dark Festival program, you'll see for yourself the main tags behind the thing. But tonight, I would like to think that the main tags were the people, the individuals that Ian knew and loved so well as we loved him. Funky Bar Bar, please. Thank you. Well, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for that wee introduction from Robbie. I'll just say a word or two while Jody gets his mic called in. He's lost the mic. Well, my mic's here. Uh, we've been in the bar for most of the night before I've heard what's been going on. And I've finished up with two mics, so I'm going to do a Juliet and the rest of the bar in <laughs> Now we've got uh, two mics back, so I'm going to move. And we're ready to get your last uh, call for the night before we head away home to our growth and for for an easy drop here.
go on about the festival and folk are putting in donations and uh, thank you for that Robbie and this is the cheque which will go along with the money that's raised here tonight.
I, I've not read all of his poems, but one that I especially have read, and I worked on Thrush and Balls in the younger days, and he had one about a Thrush and Mull, and it was really a good poem. It was, have you ever worked a Thrush and Mull or even heard him work it, that come through on his verses exactly what a Thrush and Mull was all about? And now, when this type of evening ends, we speak about him a Thrush, and Ian said in his poem that you've got nobody from miles around to come help you, Ian Thrush. So we've got nobody from miles around. Well, there are from miles around, but we've got nobody up here. And we're all here, Thrush. And can you please realise that the door jumped to the side because the car will hit a go in there. We're all here, Thrush, for the end of this evening, ladies and gentlemen.